Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to understand how you are going to collaborate within the team when you are using Git and GitHub as the repository. Okay, so it doesn't matter which version control system you are using, the process will be if it is, you know, like based on Git. So, for example, Bitbucket as well, which is from Atlassian, uh, you will be following so, sort of similar process, right? It is more of understanding the process and flow and how you are going to work collaboratively if you do not have the Postman premium feature and your team size is more than three members, right? So, you obviously can't go ahead and have a team and then collaborate within Postman itself, right? So, in that particular case, what you have to do is most of the time you will be exporting the collection or the environment as a JSON. Okay, so for example, on this computer, I'll quickly go ahead and this will be done by mostly your team lead or the person who is actually managing all of the uh, continuous integration version control repositories and all. Okay, so I'll simply say, okay, postman repo. Okay, so just a folder there. And say for example, I export a collection there. Okay, so I say for example, this is the final collection that has been uh, updated or whatever features were assigned to me to automate. I have gone ahead and I have automated and everything is there in this particular folder. So or in this particular collection, I'll simply go ahead and export this collection, right? So I'll say, okay, export the collection and whichever is latest that I'll use and go ahead and export. And then we'll go back to the folder that was there, the new folder that I created. So postman repo and then save this file there. Okay. So now this file is available here. Now how we are going to go ahead and push it into GitHub I'm using. So I've completed uh, a series on Git and GitHub. So which will explain you from the scratch. If you don't know anything about the version control, why do we use it? And then how a person that is working on uh, automation framework and writing the code how you are going to check in the code and then collaborate as a team okay so i'll put the link here or if you just search the channel you will get the link of the complete playlist all right so go ahead and watch that because that is important to understand what we are going to do here because i'll be just using the commands that i have explained in much detail in the tutorial here. so here for example this is the github right and here your team lead will go ahead and create a new repository right this is one time activity so somebody from the either admin or your team lead will go ahead and create a new repo okay so where you need to check in your code right your automation code for the api okay so i'll simply say okay postman api testing all right so you'll see that this repo is available it will automatically uh, show that it's available okay you can put the description i'll keep it as public so you guys can also have a look at this particular repo and can download this collection if you want to and then you can i can you know initialize this repo repo with the add readme i won't do it as of now i'll keep everything blank as of now and then i'll simply go ahead and create a repo and this is something this is something your team lead will be doing or the admin will be doing this is one time activity Okay, so now this repo has been created and as soon as the repo will be created, you will see that you can basically, you know, you can do a quick setup. Okay, but always I always prefer using command line because command line gives us the knowledge as well. What exactly we are doing, right? What are, what these commands are that run behind the UI. Okay, so I can go ahead and create a new repository on the command line. Okay, and in order to create a new repository. So now at the moment, this is just a simple desktop folder right this is a folder within windows machine this is not a git repo when we say git repository any file within this particular folder will be tracked against any of the changes right so in order to push this particular code we have to go ahead and follow the process of initializing the repository first which is on our local machine so we'll simply say okay git in it okay and then if you want to add a readme file you can add a readme.md we'll just follow these commands okay and then we'll commit the code that is there right so basically you'll see that if i go ahead in this particular folder okay and i just right click so let me open the git bash and you'll see i open the git i can open git bash here okay now what exactly is git bash all of that will be available in the tutorial that i have already posted on git and github okay so this is kind of the activity that your team lead will be doing for the first time okay or if you are a senior member you will be doing it. so i'll say okay git in it to initialize this particular folder as a git repo okay git repository which is local right this folder is local okay on my machine so you'll see dot git folder got created 
and this folder is now postman repo is now initialized as a repository okay what is the next command the next command is git add readme readme is basically to specify or provide the details any details that you need a person to read before they can go ahead and set up things so you can have that readme file okay i will say read.md uh, okay so i have to basically first create that file right so and then i can add it so i'll say simply create a new file here and i'll say dot md change it okay this is md file and now if we go to git bash i should be able to add it now before that if you just say git status okay it will show you the branch that we are in right so we are on the master branch at the moment right and if you see here which branch it created if we go to the so usually in the github it creates the main branch right so that's that is why we have to switch to the main branch first before we go ahead and push this particular code okay now this this step is optional but i'm adding readme file as well along with the code that i'm going to commit okay so now what we need to do is we have these two files right so we have this these two files that i want to check in into the github repo okay so if i go ahead and say git status right you will see that um, shows what exactly the branch is on okay and then the files that are there that are untracked okay so i can go ahead and first thing i can do is i can add these files to where to the staging area okay so i can say okay git add okay and that's what this next command is talking about git add and then adding those files to the staging area so i'll simply say okay git add readme.md and now it will get added and if i say git status now you will see now this file is being ready ready for the commit okay so let me add the other file as well which is the api testing one right and this file got added as well and if you say git status you will see both files are added now i can commit these now when when i'll commit this will commit in the local repo which is the local repo which is on my local machine which has been initialized when i did git in it okay so now i'll say okay git commit git commit which is basically this command right so git commit and then hyphen m and your comment okay so we'll simply say git commit hyphen m and i'll say first comment okay so you'll see that it has committed right the two files and if i say git status now there won't be no file okay so nothing to commit working on tree click all right but now here you will see that this is basically by default creates the master branch okay and if we go here here the branch is main okay here if you see that we have this main branch let me copy these commands uh, i already have it okay so that's fine so let me go to this particular repo here okay let me open the other repos that i have created so for example this one the old one which is basically private okay you'll see that it actually creates the branch as main okay so that's why we have to basically run this particular command all right to branch that so i'll simply say okay git branch hyphen m main and enter okay you will see now i'm on the main branch so now i can directly go ahead and push the code that is there in the local repo by this command so i'll say git remote okay and add the remote git repo okay the location of that as the origin and then i can push the code from this origin to the main branch okay so this is the command and how you are going to get this url so simply you have to go to the repository okay and i'll say i have to push in here postman api testing and here i'll get this link here right so i'll simply copy it so this is the github url for that okay and now i'll say git remote so you'll say git remote add origin and then the url okay so you'll simply type in git remote add origin and then the url of the remote rep which i have pasted and i have added that origin okay so now the last command is basically to push whatever we have checked in here to the main branch in github in the remote repo okay so then we will simply say git push hyphen u origin main okay so we'll just enter and whatever code we have committed the two files readme.md and the collection will then get pushed into the main branch so if we go to the repo here okay let me refresh we should be able to see that there is a main branch right this is what the branch is and then the two files that i have committed locally in my git repo are now available in the github okay so this is the first commit all right now there are five ten members within the team and they all are working on different test cases 
and functionalities within individual postman so what they'll do is they'll basically get this particular code all right and use this json import this json in their collection okay and they'll start working so for example you know you, they downloaded it and they'll go ahead and import the file okay and they'll choose the collection they'll choose the collection json file all right so say so for example i'll import i'm just working as a team member and i'll import it as a copy right and now here i'll start adding more test cases and all of that right so i'll simply go ahead and say and say so here i added more test cases okay so let me say go to the test and i add a test which is basically just checking the the response code okay and i'll save it okay so once i'll save it by default this file is not going to get saved in the git repo that i have initialized right i always have to export it okay so if you see here it's not going to get replaced here right so as a team member i'll also have a git repo wherein i'll be having the collection that i have downloaded right that i have pulled from the github repo okay and getting or basically how you are going to get all of that code from the github repo you simply you know you, you can go ahead and clone this right so each member of the team will be cloning this repo and will be having a git repo created locally okay so for example let me also show you the clone all right so i'll say let me create a new repo there okay so i'll say new folder and i'll say member one okay so team member one has created the folder on their local machine and they'll go ahead and clone it okay so i've copied this link all right and in order to clone this particular repo the command is git clone all right so if you simply want the help on the command so i'll simply say git clone all right and you say hyphen h it will give you all the options or the help option for that particular command okay so here you'll see that the usage is git clone okay if you want to provide any options and then the repo wherever the repo is and the directory where you want to clone it okay so this will basically clone whatever is there on the remote branch okay in your local branch in your local desktop so i'll say git clone and okay before that let's switch to that particular folder right the folder that we have created so we'll say the folder was member one okay so now i'm on the member one and if i say git status this is not initialized as a git repo okay so now i'll say git clone and the url the repo sorry the repo is the link so let me get the link there copy this link and paste the link okay and now since i'm on the same in the same folder i do not need to provide the location of that particular folder okay so i'll just simply say git clone and it will clone this whole thing into where into this particular member one folder so if now i say git status ah sorry it will be if you see it has created a new folder so you'll see that postman api testing got created so i'll simply say okay go to that postman api testing and i'll see that it is now initialized as a git repo and we are working on the main branch all right so now this has been downloaded here this has been cloned the the collection has been cloned in cloned in this folder for the member one so now member one what they'll do is they will go ahead in the postman okay and they'll import that collection that they have cloned from the github repo okay so they'll choose the file okay and where they have cloned this they have cloned this in the member one and this is where the clone is so they'll go ahead and import it in their postman okay and keep it as a copy there and three is the copy okay and in three i go ahead and add say for example some new tests okay so that same test that i added previously so i'll add a new test which is status code 200 okay save it and then similarly i'll do for the get project okay so now you will see that the member the team member has cloned the repo in their local machine and also added few more test cases and extended the framework but when you save right when you save this it doesn't get saved here right so it, it's not a save as usual the ids or the file save right so basically this file that we see here okay the json file okay you will see that it is still showing up to date right so json file from postman once you save it doesn't get saved locally so what we have to again do we have to go to collection and then export this collection okay so we'll simply go ahead and export it and follow this manual process that's the only problem basically when you are working with this export but this is free so you can go ahead and try this so i'll go ahead and export it 
and I'll simply go ahead and replace the existing one. Okay. So whatever existing collection was there in this repo, I'll simply go ahead and save it, overwrite it. Okay. So I have overwritten it. All right. Now, when I have overwritten it, basically what I have done is whatever existing code was there on top of that, I have added more code and that has been overwritten. So if I now say git status, it will show me that the file has been modified. Okay. So now I can follow the same process as a mem team member to check in whatever changes I have done those test cases into GitHub repo. Okay. So now I'll simply add this. So I'll say git add. Okay. And add this file into the staging area and then i'll say git commit and put the message i'll say new tests added okay as a comment and then i'll push it right so the next command is to push it in the into the remote repo right so you know git push hyphen u origin and main why origin because we have already set up the remote repo link once as a origin so now i just have to run the command git push hyphen u origin into the branch main okay so i'll simply run that particular command and these changes should get now pushed which are from the team member into the github repo right so this has been done if we go to this repo again right and refresh this you will see that new test added all right just now this particular file and this is the new comment that i just added while committing if i go back here or open this particular file you will see that i can go ahead and see the overall history okay or in the collection i can see you know the changes basically so we can go ahead and see the history and this was the first commit this is the second commit and if we simply click on this new test added here in the commits you will see that whatever changes have been made to that particular file you will see this particular test has been added and whatever changes were done basically now are available in this particular file okay this is a bit of a manual you know process but overall because you're using github you will be able to do it effectively only challenge is that you have to make sure within your team that somebody or just one or two people take the responsibility of checking it into the github right if everyone wants to do that full-fledged uh, version control activity for, like you do this will uh, become a little bit of problem because there will be a lot of merge issues right so if there is one person who is handling all of it so they can collate all the collections together or basically they can fetch all the changes that have been done from the team and then make sure they create you know one particular collection having all the test cases incorporated within that and they take the responsibility of checking it into the main branch of the github right so that way you are going to save lot of extra efforts or the merge issues that might occur in this whole process right now this is absolutely fine you don't need to i mean if you do not want to go for a premium account this is still doable there is no issue with that okay but if you have a premium account all of these activities become really really easy within postman itself because postman within itself has the capability and functionality to do all of these version control things within the postman and team can work collaboratively with lot more efficient okay so that's all for this video i hope you are able to understand the whole flow and how you are going to work as a team when you are using github and checking the code within github so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching